Hello friends, today we're going to be doing an optical illusion. An optical illusion is really easy to do and it makes a really cool effect. There are really simple ones to do and there are really hard ones to do. So I'm gonna start off showing you one of the more simple ones. First, we're gonna do a little practice shape and we're gonna do one using the first letter of your name or someone's name that's important to you, something like that. So first I'm gonna start with an easy shape and I don't want to fill this whole paper because I'm just doing a practice so I'm gonna make a little square in the middle so that this is where my practice is going to go then I'm gonna do a heart so you draw the shape in your space and then now we're going to draw lines to help create the optical illusion you're just gonna do straight lines that go across Okay, and then we want to color. So this part is what adds the optical illusion. Right now it's just a heart with some lines. Um, I'm going to use a black Sharpie marker and we're going to do every other line. So I'll start inside the heart first. I'll do... When I do optical illusions like this, I like to do them black and white. I think that the dark, dark black and then the light and then the really bright white makes the optical illusion pop more. However, you can use different colors. Um, it's just best that you don't go more than two colors. Okay, so now I have my heart colored. I colored every other line. Now I'm going to color outside the heart. So to make this look like an optical illusion, you have to make sure that when you are coloring the lines, you are not coloring the same ones that you colored for the inside of the heart. We're gonna start close to the heart because then we'll know what colors to do on the ones out here. Um, so this line, I'm gonna start with this one. I colored it black in here, so out here it has to stay white. So if this is a white stripe, that means this is black and this is black because we're doing every other one like a pattern so then this would be black and this would be black and then I'm gonna color those all in okay all done so now I have a mini optical illusion um, and that's the basic idea of how to do it. Now we're going to do letters. So I'm gonna have a clean sheet of paper and we'll do the letters. Now for the letter. So you can use any letter really. I'm gonna choose to do a B for Miss Baby. You could do the first letter of your name. You could do the first letter of your favorite singer's name. It's really up to you, it doesn't matter. It's your art. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that using a letter. It's very similar to the optical illusion we just did, but I'm gonna put a little bit more work into the detail and making sure that things are looking good, that my lines are straight, that kind of thing. So first thing, we're gonna draw the letter. Um, you could get really fancy with this, or you could just do a really simple bubble letter. So remember, a trick to do bubble letters is to write the letter first. and then to trace all the way around it, and that's gonna give you a bubble. So I'm going to do my bubble letter. Trace around. Curve. Make it nice and big. And then I do my two circles in there. And then we're going to erase. Okay, so now I have my B. Take this into the optical illusion. We're going to draw our straight lines, but then we're also going to get a little bit more creative with the lines that are inside the B. Um, so I'm gonna start. If you do not have a ruler, that is not necessary. I'm gonna show you a very easy way to get straight lines without a ruler, and that is using a notebook or a book. So I'm gonna use this to make my straight lines. I'm gonna start at the bottom. 
and work my way up. So what is an optical illusion? In art, this usually means you are using lines and colors to make something that is flat look 3D or like it's standing off the page or to make it look like it's moving. We're gonna be focusing on making things look 3D. Making things look like they're moving is very advanced and requires lots of colors and lots of math. And what we're doing, you really just need simple lines and two colors and you can create a really cool 3D effect. So I have those lines, but like I said, I wanted to get a little bit more creative with the lines that are in here. So I'm gonna curve these lines. So first, this, this line right here, these two lines right here, I'm gonna make my middle lines. I don't wanna curve these, so I'm gonna draw this pretty dark so that I know that that's gonna stay a straight line. Okay, now the way I'm gonna curve them, I'm gonna curve all of these lines going up towards the top of the paper and all of these lines going down towards the bottom of the paper and I'm only gonna give them a little bit of a curve. So I'm going to just go right like this. You start and stop where the B starts and stops and you just curve it up a little and then erase this line. I'm going to keep erasing each line as I curve because if I don't, I might get confused. And then this line, if I curved it, it would go up there. So we're just going to erase it right here because it's not going to be in the B. There. Okay. Then next, I'm going to go down to these lines and I'm going to curve it down a little. Now it is time to color. So I'm going to get my black Sharpie marker. And the first thing I wanna do is decide what colors are gonna be black and white in here. I think that I want my middle stripe to be black. So I'm going to put little dots where I'm gonna color in the stripe black. And then I'm gonna come back and color. Um, this is gonna be really helpful for you later to do that. So um, especially when you have lots of lines, there's a lot more than my practice drawing. So I know that's black. I know that's black. Okay. And then we color in the B. So my B is all colored. Now I need to go back in and go over the lines around here. So remember, just like with the B, I marked down with a dot the lines that should be color black. So I'm going to do that again, just so I don't get confused and I don't accidentally color the wrong lines. The only issue that we are going to run into is going to be right around here. Because you see, if we do like this line right here, because this is white, this is going to be a black line. That means this is going to be white. And this is also going to be a black line. So we are going to be kind of blending in with the B, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to go and mark. every other line. And inside here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and color the rest so that my optical illusion is finished. And I'm finished. So what you're going to do is you're gonna double check, make sure that you have your nice straight lines. So I have some crooked lines there, so I'm gonna go back and just kinda straighten them out and then make sure all of your pencil lines are erased because if you can still see the pencil lines it kind of ruins the magic of the optical illusion and it makes the, your art look a little bit sloppy so i'm going to get rid of all my extra pencil lines remember we drew all those lines that we had to erase well i can still see some of mine so we're just making sure that they're not there anymore and we have a nice clean 
crisp white spots and nice really dark black spots it's gonna give the effect a little bit better so you notice how it looks like my B is kind of standing off of the paper. And to do that, I just kept two straight lines in the middle and then curve up going this way, curve down going this way. Um, it's very simple. Just follow the steps and you can have your own optical illusion. And uh, I will also be posting videos showing different kinds of optical illusions. So if you want to come back and check those out, you can see those too as well. All right, friends, um, happy creating and I will talk to you guys later.